What is going on, guys? So today we're checking out the Traver Photo Light Studio. Now, this is a pretty large one. They come in multiple different sizes. There's a 32 inch, a 35 inch, a 39 inch, and 100 centimeter uh, light bars. You can buy extras as well. Um, this is very straightforward. It's really, really cool. If you are an at home photographer, if you do videography, if you photograph products, your own products for your stores or for clients, this is a great device. Now, again, I got a large one here. <clears throat> I got this specifically because I do videos like this uh, for different products and stuff, and, and I wanted to have something where I could light it myself. Now, as you guys can see from the video, which I'll be showing you as, as this kind of goes along, setup was actually pretty easy. There's a lot of parts. It seemed like it was a little bit tricky up front, but actually, if you follow the instructions, it's very straight, very straightforward. You kind of create a, a box frame out of the metal, and then you put this whole slip over the top. Now, what you have here is basically you end up with a light box just like this. You've got two LED strips along the top, and you have these interchangeable. It comes with multiple colors. You get a blue, a white, a black, um, and then you get a red as well, which is really cool. Um, it has, it can be completely sealed up uh, if you wanted to take photography inside using one of these little ports up on the top. It has these Velcro ports where you can access the top. Okay, this one I'm running the power cables out of here. Um, it does also come with a diffuser, which you can strap to the inside. If you want to take the LEDs from a direct, you know, kind of a stark white, you can use this diffuser to actually uh, lay that, you kind of hook it onto the bars along the top and can, it can dim that down a little bit or soften that light, which is really nice. Outside of that, there's no light bleed at all from the outside to the inside, okay? You have this controller on the back, so you've got your power adapter here that goes up to just a quick little on-off switch. So that just turns the power on or off. And then you have your brightness adjustment, which is on this little wheel here. Also can be used as an on-off, but if you wanted to keep it at a specific setting and turn the light off when you weren't using it, that's what this little you know power kill switch is for. Now, some of the other features I do want to mention as well is this is dimmable, right? So you have, this is up to 13,000 lumens. You've got the reflective material on the inside, which actually creates kind of that 360 degree light. Um, I really like that functionality. I think that's a really cool feature. Um, you know, the ability to kind of do that um, and have that functionality with that full 360 light in here, as you guys can see, that light just refracts off of this, you know, kind of um, this really reflective material and will give you great even lighting all the way around, which is really neat. On top of that, you know, you have, this is again for multi-angle shooting, okay? For advanced photography, the multicolor backdrops is just is just a great addition, and it comes with everything you need just to kind of get it set up and running. Um, again, it didn't take very long, uh, and it produces some really really professional results. But very straightforward, it works great. I mean, it's it's a really clean piece of equipment. Very, I would say, you want to set it up, use it for a little while. If you're going to break it down and set it up, it does take a little bit of time. It's not like a quick pop up but it works really, really well and creates really cool stuff. So if this is something you're looking for, definitely consider checking this one out. But guys, as usual, I hope this video was helpful for you and I'll see you in the next one.